Hi everybody, welcome on today's video. Today is Tuesday, the 6th of September 2017. Yesterday we did some lip bandings uh, on the trombone, uh, the bass trombone, and I said that we would do some flexibility today, but I changed my mind. Um, I was thinking about the video yesterday and I got a few emails um, asking for the exercises, but also talking about those exercises and low register. So um, I decided to continue on the low registers today um, and do a few exercises to improve the low register. Uh, in case you don't know, if you're interested, I am writing some free exercises, free etudes and free solos, especially for the viewers of this channel. So if you want to get them, everything is for free, I'm not selling anything, just send me an email, this is my email address and I'll write it in the video description. Again, it's completely free. Um, I have not started yet because this channel is really uh, young, but what I'm, what I'm gonna do is in the weekend, I'm going to write the exercises for the coming week. This weekend, I will have to do an exception and write the exercises that we are doing this week and also the exercises that we're gonna do next week. So. Yeah, this weekend you will receive two sets of exercises as well as two etudes and um, for the solos uh, I'll do that uh, maybe next week or the week after. Uh, tell me what you prefer actually. Do you prefer studies, etudes, exercises or solos? Leave your comments down below. So let's get straight to it. Um, uh, just to answer some questions <laughs> that I got in the emails. Yeah, I did actually have nightmares on my low register and that's because I'm new to playing the bass trombone. Uh, the, I've been doing it for three years now, but when I started I was completely self-taught and um, I was playing the valve trombone, the jazz valve trombone. You can see some playlists. I'll link some playlists up there on me playing the valve trombone and as you can see it's a very different approach to making sound. I liked to have this very airy sound um, and I worked really hard to get this airy sound but it is not the proper sound that you would get on a classical trombone. So uh, I did have to switch from that and also I, I have always been a very natural high register player and I've always had no problems with the high register, also on euphonium um, and I never really dig into the low register because I didn't really need it and it was not something that I was particularly interested in uh, maybe because most of my friends were trumpet players and we we're just trying to scream high notes and um, so so yeah I, I, and I had a very bad low register I didn't need it I didn't work on it I got away with it when I came to the bass trombone I had zero low register so a normal low F for me was the end of the world and um, I didn't have a good teacher when I arrived here in Berlin and he was really pressuring me uh, to make progress faster than I could. And that was very new to me because I was always very... Um, it, it, every, playing came very naturally to me, but playing these bass trombone sounds uh, in the high dynamics and in the low register was something that I had never done before and I didn't have the technique to do it. I didn't know how to do it. I had to find out. And this teacher was pushing me to uh, progress faster than what was natural for me, for my ambusher, for my muscles, for my air, uh, for my state of mind also, because I didn't really have those sounds in my head yet. And he was telling me, whatever you do, just make a good sound and do it fast and you have to do it fast, you know? And so my advice to you all, uh, whether you're teachers or students, take your time. Don't get pressured. You have all the time in the world. You're going to always progress and you don't have to, to you know, you can't, you can't force it. You can't force it. What you can do is do the right technique and um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it will work through time. This is a compound effect. It's not, I'm going to move my embouchure like this and play upside down. It's going to make this big farty noise and I'm going to be able to play in the low register. For me, uh, practicing low register and being able to play in the low register is not about just farting some low note. And 
this is not being able to play in the low register. Being able to play in the low register is being able to have the same quality of sound in the low register as in the middle and also being able to use it in a musical way. And that goes also for the super high register. When you're playing very very high, is it squeaky or is it something that you integrate in a musical phrase, in an improvisation, in a solo, um, into your concerto? Uh, so th this is really important. And so, and so getting the right technique of not moving your embouchure too much when you're going, of course you're going to have to move a little bit, but not in an unnatural way. Don't go left or right, or don't do this pedal technique where you block your upper lip. I mean, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. I can go to double and sometimes triple Cs uh, with this technique, and it's completely useless. Because to be honest, if I have to play it, if I have to play a phrase and go down to that note, I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, especially in a performance situation, you have to keep this in mind. Also, you know, if you're a bit nervous or and your mouth is a bit dry and you're going to have to jump, uh, you're going to break your teeth. You know, it, this is a bad technique, and I think it's a bad idea to teach a wrong technique just because. Um, I, most of those wrong techniques, I say they're wrong, um, not because I'm telling you exactly what is wrong and what is right, but what's wrong is when it's a shortcut. And to block your upper lip, to flap your bottom lip, just to play in the low register, or turn your head, however, uh, to, to play low, it's a shortcut. And um, that shortcut will have limits. And you will feel those limits when you have to play in the low register in a musical um, uh, environment, um, in a musical context. So this is why for today's exercises, what we're going to do, we're not going to go too far down, but we're going to work our way down in the most organic way. Um, and the point of the exercise is going to be to you can do it in front of a mirror. I'm looking at the little screen next to my camera so I can see myself. I'm actually going to move forward a little bit so that you can see better. And the point will be to uh, stay in a natural uh, position. So what's going to happen when you go low, of course uh, your embouchure is going to go, the tip is going to go up a little bit and your bottom lip is going to go a little bit more in front. You are going to have to open your mouth a little bit because you need uh, the space to vibrate. You have to have zero tension because if you do, it's going to block the vibration. And since you're going to need a lot of warm air, your lips have to be as free as possible to vibrate. That, that's the thing. You know? So yesterday we worked on the lip bends. It was also really good for the no pressure technique to being able to play without any pressure on your chops and that is so that even with a different quality of air that we're going to need to make a nice sound in the very low register in a good mezzo piano like a good quality nice vibrant sound uh, this air is going to be hot air that's not going to move your lips as easily maybe as um, when you play in the middle register with a lot of fast and colder air. Um, so your embouchure has to be as free as possible, but at the same time it has to be very controlled. And the way to control it is with the muscles from your cheeks. So even if it's easier uh, to play lower with your cheeks um, uh, puffed up, uh, this is what I would say a wrong technique and one that I had uh, a lot and I can tell you I had a lot of problems with this because it came to a point where I was getting a good sound in the low register um, but I was unable to play like a fast passage with fast tonguing because my, my, my cheeks were puffed and it would just go <laughs> like a big fish and the uh, staccato, the or, or just detached playing in the low register was, was just impossible. So, so it blocked me in a lot of excerpts that I had to play, like Wasn't Cavalier or um, some pieces, or even some improvisations where 
I want to play fast notes in the low register. You have to be in control of your cheeks and you have to, that, th this is also so that the air can go directly from your air column to the mouthpiece, to the, to the lips, to make it vibrate and amplify it through the instrument um, without uh, stopping it with, with, with your cheeks, you know. Um, so let, let's get started. What I'm going to do is, uh, I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to drink a sip of water. And then we're going to start, we're going to start arpeggios. For me, my, my low note, when I was unable to play low, was the F. So we're going to start with an F arpeggio. We're going to go down from the middle F to the lower F. And then we're going to start from more up and go a little bit up going down. You'll see. I'll write all those exercises down and I'll send them to you. Just send me an email. This is my address again. Um, and I will send you the, the exercise. Okay, so let's start. It goes without saying that we're doing this exercise with absolutely zero tongue, okay? Let's continue. Yeah? So again, don't move. If you have to breathe, um, well, try, try not breathing for this exercise. I think you can, you can manage with that. At the end of the phrase, you can see I don't have so much air, but I'm not taking such a good quality air. I'm going to try to do better. Using both vowels, I could also use just one valve on the fourth position for this uh, note for the D, but um, I'm using two valves for one reason it's harder. When you're practicing, practice the harder versions. Practice the easier versions also, but if you don't have so much time, like here, practice the harder version. And it's true that playing with two valves is harder, you have more resistance, you have to put more air. So try to do that.
the slow B is the hardest note on the bass trombone for sure no question so practice going there uh, we can continue a little bit in the pedals although the pedal is a completely different technique but we also want to regain control and try to not move I don't have a mirror here and I'm not really looking at the camera so that you can see my embouchure and I really hope that I'm pre um, doing what I preach and not moving too much my embouchure um, B flat too long if you have time please continue let's go on to the next exercise it's just gonna be starting in the higher register sound quality is not great it's okay as long as you get the right technique let's do this one one more time from the high F to the low B flat it goes without saying that afterwards you start from the high B flat to the high B flat It's useful to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
yeah? And continue going down, you got the exercise, I'm gonna write it down. I don't want this video to last too long. This very last exercise, um, and this is, <coughs> sorry, this is just gonna be playing uh, scales really slow with a really slow slide, no tongue, down and up, and with a little arpeggio, like such. Really take some time on those low notes, uh, enjoy them, play them, uh, repeat them, do whatever you want. Just really get used to them, this is the point really. don't move your embouchure. If the sound is not good, it's okay, keep the right technique. I'm repeating myself, but it's really important. Because you know, if you're playing like this and trying to get a good sound with the wrong technique, it's a shortcut and it's gonna limit you in your playing. Let's continue with the C. perseverance you know like a few months ago I was unable to play a low C unable to play a low C so just keep on going don't let anybody pressure you press you take your time do it in your own way and just patience and keep at it too loud, good mezzo piano, mezzo four days enough, just a vibrant sound. stretch and just 
continue going down. There's no point to me uh, showing you. Oh, do you want? Let, let, let's continue then. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I want to continue because uh, you know when you when you're a bit when you're not having the greatest day, practicing those low registers. It's really like a meditation. You're taking big breath. You have to be relaxed, otherwise the sound doesn't come out. And it's a great um, exercise to do before auditions or before performances. It, ju it just relaxes you. It relaxes your whole body. You get a lot of oxygen. You, you have to relax your muscles. Um, because if you're tense in any kind of way, the sound's not going to go out. Where were we? Here. There's some uh, weather changes and it's hard to breathe, so this exercise helps a little bit. Practice all positions or fingerings possible. Continue. Let's continue until, until it doesn't speak at all, okay? And even when it doesn't speak, continue a little bit more. Tomorrow will be better, promise. It's, it's really great, even when the sound is not great. I mean, here it's actually okay, I'm a bit surprised. Um, but it just fe it, it just feels good. My, my left arm hurts, as I said, and playing in this register, <coughs> it, it helps a lot. Again, use the right technique, you know, it would be so much easier to take the shortcut. But it's ugly and, you know, keep keep the technique right. Let's try the last one, the C. <laughs> Hope it's gonna go out. If it doesn't, I'll accept.
So I accept, it's not great. Tomorrow will be better. Um, we're gonna do more workouts. I have to cut it short because, um, uh, let's just do, yeah, I have to cut it short. So uh, please subscribe to this channel. Please let me know in the comments your email address if you want those free exercises. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow we'll do more low register. I'm not sure what time because I have long rehearsals, but I will try to do it. I promise. And we're going to go on to this low register, yeah, for a little while. And then we'll move on to some other things. Please let me know in the comments also what other exercise you would like us to do together. Take care and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.